they began with a car that just passed by and started shooting at them, just like they, it's always been. You know? And so they began to shoot uh, at the university, at the students who were at the gates. Uh, they were at the gates, guarding the gates. So they began to shoot and, and they called me. And I hadn't heard anything in the, in the parish. They called me, is it, is it true that they're shooting at, your, at the students? They said, no, I don't hear anything. But it was far away that were, they were doing that. And then I called them and said, is it true? Yeah, Father, it's, we are just right here behind the barricades and, and we can't move. They have us surrounded. They're, they're shooting at us. And then they were all crying and, and they were passing through the, the phone. You could see some, some students saying, Mom, Dad, I'm going to die. No, I was just saying goodbye. And, and I just thought, come here. You know, come here to the parish. I remember that, that the first part of it began in the cathedral, next to the cathedral of Managua. And the young people could not defend themselves. They didn't have anything, any weapons. And they were just protesting and they were being shot at and dying. There was a moment that we entered, um, or that we, we entered cathedral where the young people were refuge as a church. We decided, at that moment, we, re we decided that we would be with them until the last consequences. There's a lot of um, persecution right now. I think that is going to have a second, uh, a second uh, part to this. The first part was very violent. Now I think it's going to be taking advantage of that law to persecute everyone who they think are terrorists and taking them to jail. It could be us. It could be the young people we saved. It could be anyone. But one thing. Um, really questioned me and when these things happen against humanity, against religious freedom, there's a major enemy and that is indifference. 